the Astor Foundation really has been extremely good to me personally, uh, as well as to the city, but to me. I was about 31, 32 years old. I had been in this, I had barged into the profession, or backed into the profession, uh, and at that time you could, without having any qualification, you didn't have to have a license, you didn't have to have an education. I had a little education in ornamental horticulture from Cornell. And for me, I was just trying to make a living. If I could make $10,000 a year, that shows you how long ago it was, uh, I would be very happy. That would be enough to, you know, to sustain a family. And my goal. Anyway, I, the objective of going into this profession was not for any larger issue uh, like making the world better. Uh, it was really to make a living, to sustain myself. But in the course of this rather uh, limited work that I was doing, planting plans and FHA work, became somewhat, and not even uh, low-income housing, which was the New York Housing Authority, I became bored uh, and began to experiment with some ideas. And through that, uh, I guess I must have impressed somebody at the Housing Authority. I get a call from them. Uh, we'd like to pick you up uh, to look at some, some projects on such and such a day at such and such an hour. And I was, you know, thrilled. I get in and I'm introduced to Mrs. Astor. Well, the Astors were well known, you know, uh, in the city because of Astor Hotel and a number of other things. You know, and also, uh, historically, we studied Astor in, in the fur trade. And we were taken along with two other, a landscape architect, Bob Zion, and an architect, uh, Cy Brynus, around to see housing projects. And they explained to us this was going to be a competition. Anyway, we, I picked the same site as Cy Brynus. And uh, the housing authority calls me up and says, look, the two of you have picked the same site. Either you want to pick another one or you want to go with him. So I figured, you know, two out of three is a better chance than one out of three. So I said, I'll go with Cy Brynus. And we designed two projects. One is called Carver House, which we had both picked, and the other was Reese in the Lower East Side. We designed Carver House together. Cy took the lead on that. And uh, the, uh, at the end, it was built, and it, was, it was, got a certain amount of recognition. It was published. We were all very happy with it. And this is the Astor Foundation, Mrs. Astor, comes back and says, we now have seen what you've done. We think the materials and all that, because of the budget that we gave you, was low, and therefore we're a little disappointed in the quality, not of the design, but the quality of the materials. We're going to give you, now, that was $300,000. We're going to give you a million dollars, and we'd like you to design this pro other project. Now, what we had done was a, it was a throwaway. And uh, at this point, uh, I took the lead in the design, and we came up with Reese. They were very, very, very accommodating, the, the foundation and Mrs. Astor to show you how accommodating. When she gave the money to the housing authority, she said, I'll give it to you on one condition, that you have nothing to say about the design. The designers that we pick will be the total arbiters of how this thing turns out, which was an incredible amount of both responsibility but also freedom, and we were thrilled to have it. Since then, we were, because of Reese and the recognition it got, and by the way, she had invited her friend Mrs. Johnson, Lady Bird Johnson, to come and open the, 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 uh, the project, which gave it even another level of recognition. But in payment for that, she said she offered Lady Bird a playground in Washington, and we did a playground there also.